In this video, I will show you how to deploy your Red 5 application. So the first thing we need to do is to make a war file. So open a command prompt. And we need to get into the directory where our Red 5 application is. And mine is in my Eclipse workspace and then test app. So I'll copy that path and I will CD to that path. and then type in ant minus p and you don't need to do this but this will list all of the targets in the ant build file for this project and I don't know why you would need to do that but I'm just mentioning it and then now type in ant to build the war file and now it has put the war file in the disk directory in your application directory. It's called testapp.war. And now we want to copy this and paste it in our web apps directory where red5 is installed. So my red5 is installed in C program files, red5, and then go into the web apps directory and copy your war file there. Now within 10 minutes this war file is going to be turned into a directory called test app and our project will be located there. Um, Red5, the Red5 service has a war deployer service that runs every 10 minutes. So this will happen within 10 minutes. We should also stop and start the Red5 service. So go to your control panel double click on administrative tools go to services and then find the red 5 service stop it and then start it and then within 10 minutes we will see this new directory being created and if you don't want to wait 10 minutes you can change that 10 minute value go to your um, oh it's the conf directory CONF inside C program files red5 CONF and then red5-common.xml right click on that open with notepad and then find the war deployer service and where it says check interval it says 600,000 and that's in milliseconds so that's 10 minutes but you can decrease that value and make it anything you want on your local computer you might want to make it smaller so you don't have to wait 10 minutes but on your server you probably want to leave it 10 minutes so that it doesn't take up extra resources on the deployer service and then we'll go back to the web apps directory and it has not created the directory yet so we just have to wait and the other thing to know is that if you make any changes to your test app and you want to redeploy it the way to do that is to delete the war file and delete the new directory it's going to create here any minute. Um, delete both of those. Copy the new war file in here again. Stop red5 and then start red5 again. And then wait another 10 minutes and the whole process will happen over again. It will create the directory for you. Oh, and it just created the directory for me called test app. And if I go into that directory, I can see it's created web inf and it has put my application.class in here and the red5 xml files and so now I am ready to build a client app that will communicate with this server app And this is also how I would deploy it on a server. I would copy this testapp.war 
into my web apps directory and it would create this test app directory within 10 minutes and then uh, my client app could connect to it.